Hi everybody, welcome to jazztime.com. This is Chris here introducing to you the Rolex Yachtmaster 2 two-tone rose gold and stainless steel. It's a model reference number 116681. Look at this bad boy here. Voila, there it is guys. Rolex Yachtmaster 2 in stainless steel and rose gold. It has a retail uh, price of $25,150 US dollars. Originally came out back in the day, a number of years ago, but they did not come out with this model until recently. This one in ever rose gold and stainless steel. Beautiful dial, really easy to read. You can see the hour markers do have luminescent on them. This is a chronograph. Uh, it's actually a countdown chronograph for regatta racing. If you have a yacht, then you can race it with this watch. What I'm going to do is just show you what comes in the box. Get your warranty card here, 116681. Your hang tags over here. Get a good look at the solid links there. This is rose gold here. Let's get that case back. I'm also going to be showing you how this chronograph function works uh, for those who are interested or curious about how it works. This watch actually has a specific movement that allows you to program it. Uh, that what you would actually program it is you can see this chronograph hand here, or chronograph, this top pusher button and a lower pusher button that is traditional that chronographs have a start stop and a reset button typically on the bottom right here. Okay, so to start to actually get this watch moving, you need to take the crown out here and screw it. After you pull it out, you can actually set the time and date, or the time. This, this watch actually doesn't have a date function on it, so you'll see it going through that dial. Get these hands out of the way so you can see how that works. And we work the chronograph hand, so we're going to go ahead and screw it back in and give it a couple winds. Normally from a dead start, you can wind this watch about 15, 20 times uh, to get a good power reserve here. And in order to actually program this watch, so if you're going to see this little uh, triangle hand right here, this is the countdown timer hand. Originally it starts either, it's going to be somewhere in the zero or 10 mark, but I can show you how that works, how we can actually program it. So you can actually have countdown times of five minutes. Uh, this one would be five minutes, but if you wanted to do it two minutes or one minute, you can actually program it. The way that you do this, I turn the bezel halfway. You see it sit right there, the Yacht Master is sitting right here on the side. And in order to program it, you're going to be to press this bottom right button here, jam it all the way in until it clicks. And once it clicks, you're able to program the watch. So what you're going to be doing is taking the crown on this side, and once it's popped out to the first position, you can actually move the, the regatta countdown hand here. Once you see me turn it, you'll see it start to move. In this case, it's moving up. Eight minutes, nine minute countdown, ten minute countdown. If you wanted to reset to the zero countdown, it's going to flip all the way back, just like that. That's pretty quick, guy. Right? So that's to say if I wanted to set it for a three minute countdown, now I'll set it to such, pop this back in, in order to program it, lock it into place, you're going to be turning this bezel back this way. Things are a little sweaty, so there you go. You hear that click, it actually programmed it, and you're ready to go. Okay, so when you're actually counting down this, if you look really closely, you'll see the chronograph hand, which is the red hand, second hand, start to go. If you look really closely, keep track of that triangle there. Triangle hand, you'll see it's moving down towards from the three to the two. So if you had a three minute countdown, it would actually measure down to the zero, and you could start your yacht race. Interesting, huh? Really interesting piece where you can actually program this mechanical piece to operate and do what you need it to do. Most chronograph uh, watches are counting up, but in this case, they're, it's counting down. You see it's moving from the three to the two there. There you have it. Now if you wanted to reset the chronograph hand, obviously you just press the start stop button on the top, and you can reset this back to the 12 o'clock, and this three minute marker back to the three o'clock. There you have it guys. It's an awesome watch. It is a 44 millimeter watch. It doesn't fit on everybody's wrist like mine, but it definitely does look good. If you're interested in this watch, uh, you can visit us at jazztime.com. We have a price match guarantee. We have for free shipping and a one year warranty. Thanks for visiting us.